History is the study of past events, but when no one records those events, people and their stories are lost to time. Denver 7's Micah Smith has more on a new project to make sure black Colorado stories are on full display. These images from the civil rights movement are familiar to almost every generation of Americans, and so many black Americans share personal connections. On March 28, 1968, I was a 19-year-old junior at Memphis State University and participated in the I Am a Man March. Outside of the South, often these kinds of stories are lost. But right here in Boulder County, black leaders like Glenda Strong Robinson are working to preserve them. This picture of me appears in the Smithsonian African American Museum of History and Culture in Washington, D.C. I've lived in this area for the last 42 years. And that picture isn't on permanent display anywhere in Boulder County. But soon, that will change. After receiving feedback regarding the lack of black history at the Museum of Boulder, museum leaders decided it's time for a permanent exhibit, not only for Strong Robinson, but all black Coloradans with stories to tell. The Museum of Boulder, they wrote this grant in partnership with the NAACP, a black history exhibit is currently in the making. So we're going forward with proclaiming Boulder's black history. Emily Zinn, Museum of Boulder Director of Education, says this will be a three-year project that started in 2021. So really looking at what are the, the churches, the businesses, the community centers. Zinn says there are so many stories to tell. Penfield Tate is the only black mayor that Boulder's ever had. Lucille Berkeley Buchanan Jones was the first black woman to graduate from CU Boulder and wasn't pictured in the 1918 yearbook. Robinson and Zinn say they'll spend the next few months meeting with black Coloradans who have connections to Boulder and preserving their stories. So by 2023, they'll be able to share these bits of history with everyone. Reporting in Boulder, Micah Smith, Denver 7.